Hello everyone, welcome back to Edible Abundance Homestead. I'm Ginger and today is July 28th. Hard to believe that it's already the end of July. So today, um, I am fall garden starting, kind of. I'm succession planting beans. Um, so I just cleared out this space here. This is where the garlic had been planted. Um, and we harvested garlic, did some weeding while that happened. Um, and so there were just a few little bits and pieces. Weeds had come back. That was probably a month ago. Um, so I cleared those out. And I have started these. Let's walk over here. I started these fairly sad looking bean plants inside. Um, they probably should have been planted out about a week ago, but I've been pretty much in my kitchen preserving food nonstop since then. So um, it is what it is. I also have this ground cherry that had um, grown unexpectedly. I had given up on the seed and planted something else in the pot and it grew. Um, it got left in the garden because I had started to plant it there were two of them. I planted one and I got pulled away by something and I left the other one out there and so it was looking really sad and droopy because it hadn't been in the shade with the other ones. It hadn't been watered with the other ones and I brought, I found it last night and remembered it. Um, watered it and it's perked right back up. It's not in great shape but I'm going to stick it in the ground probably somewhere around this bean area anyway. We'll see what happens. Um, the beans got kind of droopy from not being watered. There's some flowers mixed in there that don't look so great. Um, I'm gonna stick those in the kids garden really quick and clear the potted starts completely from my plate because what I really need to do now is also start my fall crops like cauliflower, broccoli, cabbage, those sorts of things. So I wanna get all this stuff out of the way, off my plate, Get those things started and uh, start really planning out my fall garden because um, those really should have probably been started a week or two ago just like these should have been planted out a week or two ago so um, so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and just plant these in a real quick row and uh, I've noticed so my bush beans my dragon's tongue these are contender beans my dragon's tongue that are planted in like my main inside the fence of my garden um, they've had a lot of bug damage and a couple of them really don't look good. So I'm a little worried about the bugs getting to these, but we're just gonna plant them and see what happens. So uh, here I go. Boom. For as long as it took me to uh, get around to coming out here and doing this, it sure didn't take very long to actually get the planting done, even with, you know, 15, 20 minutes of weeding that I did ahead of time. Uh, I've got one row of seven here and two over there. Um, I did not really have a space for the ground cherry, so I'm just going to go look around in the main part of the garden and see where I can uh, stick that in. We've been kind of underwhelmed by the ground cherries. Nobody really loves their flavor. Um, my toddler probably likes them best of all, but this is a kid who will sit and eat a bucket of cherry tomatoes, so it's kind of not surprising that he likes the ground cherries. I think they taste okay. Um, I don't find them to be particularly sweet and I've been leaving them on the plant until they fall off. Like I usually when I harvest come out here and mostly I'm just picking them up off the ground. Um, I look through the plants and I do grab the ones that are clearly done off the plant but um, they're just not really giving us much sweetness and I don't know if that's growing conditions if that's normal for the ground cherries. If uh, we're growing Aunt Molly's, uh, I know there's another variety or two. I know, but this is kind of the most common one. So I don't know. Um, if I grow them again, it will probably be only a couple of plants. Um, this year, I think I have like six plants out, five plants out there, five or six. Um, I also, I have not managed to harvest enough at once to do anything with them other than just eat them fresh. Um, I mean, I could freeze them, but I've heard they're, they make good jam, but I don't have enough to try that really, unless I froze them and just slowly added to them. And for all that's worth, I'd rather just let my toddler eat them because he seems to like them. Um, and like I said, I eat a few, they're okay, but um, 
I had heard such great things about them and they're just not blowing my mind like I expected them to. Um, so up next for today, I really need to do some more weeding. Um, getting these plants in the ground was huge. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put that ground cherry in the ground. I'm gonna plant the little flowers in my kids' flower bed um, with them. Uh, and I have two also little pots that have little flowers growing in them. Those need to get planted uh, in their garden with them. Um, and I have tomato sauce simmering on the stove, so I'm gonna go in and can that really quickly too. Um, I need to start, I wanna plant another succession of definitely cilantro, maybe dill. And I'm debating if I wanna plant any more squash. I made zucchini pickles and I canned them. We haven't tried them yet, um, but they really need to sit and cure for a couple of weeks. But I really kinda of wanna try them because if we really like them, then I'll probably plant another succession of squash. Um, this plant right here is still doing okay. They're just not putting off a ton of uh, fruit anymore. Uh, the one down there under the little arch is definitely suffering. Um, it's really loaded with squash bugs and I go through and clean them off once every few days, but it's, it's overwhelming at this point. Um, I'm honestly thinking it has one fruit on it that looks like it wasn't pollinated, it's already rotting, and one teeny tiny little one. And I'm thinking at this point I might be better served pulling it out and trying to stop the squash bugs that are currently living on it from getting big and reproducing and making more. Um, my big giant squash plant is also really slowing down. I'm only, there, I only see a couple of, of uh, zucchinis on there, so. I haven't decided, we'll see. When I'm, at, when I'm get going and I'm filling pots with dirt and I'm planting my broccoli and cauliflower and all that kind of stuff, it's no big deal to just throw a couple more seeds into a couple more pots. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm gonna go and can some spaghetti sauce, or not spaghetti sauce, it's just plain tomato sauce. By the way, I always can plain tomato sauce. That way I can do whatever I want with it. If I want to make spaghetti sauce with it, if I want to add, you know, my dried oregano and basil and, you know, garlic, salt, pepper, onion, that sort of thing, quick, it's, it's ready. It just has to have all the seasonings added in and maybe simmered for a little bit, you know. If I want to make pizza sauce, I usually cook it down a bit to thicken it up. Um, you know, if I want to use it in a soup or in a dish that is not, does not really require those Italian herbs, then I have it unseasoned and I can do anything I want with it. Um, so I'm going to go in and can that tomato sauce and plant some flowers. Thanks so much for watching.